I can't believe we're back, Mason, to do what is considered your favorite type of video on this channel. Guess the something from the absolute other thing, the other thing, et cetera, and so <laughs> forth. Look, I go to Letterboxd, I get a bunch of insane reviews, mm -hmm. and then I read them to you, and you have to guess what that review is for. Guess the her, 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 her. It's just rhythm at this point. It's just, <laughs> it's the right. rhythm of content is what it is. It certainly is, Mason. Mm -hmm. And of course, when we're talking a river of content, mm -hmm. a river of likes also helps that river flow, doesn't it, Mason? Sure does. That's a beautiful metaphor. That's wonderful. All right, what am I in for this week? Well, Mason, as the title says, we are looking at fantasy movies. I can't see the title. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick things off. All right. Well, I like to take things a little bit easy. This is from Peter Langman, who says, an uninspired fantasy epic... Do you think he refers to himself as Langman the Hangman? Yes, definitely. Yeah, An uninspired fantasy epic that rips off the visuals of Lord of the Rings and the plot of Star Wars. It leaves no impact and will remain in obscure cinema. Whoa. Now, this is from an era where, say, fantasy was big mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings. But then they were like, is there another thing that we can do? Aragon? Yes! Yeah, that's what I thought. Fantastic work, yeah, Mason. Yeah, that's classic work also from Langman the Hangman. <laughs> he really lived up to his name. He langed that movie so good, he langed it out to dry. It's true. What about this one? Frodo Baggins doesn't even shop on screen again, motherfucker. You hear me, Mr. Baggins? Stay in the Shire. I repeat, stay in the Shire. Do not leave your home. Brunette 1999, Eminem, dirtbag, feet three and a half. <laughs> Three and a half foot gremlin ass fucking looking bitch master has given Dobby a sock ass bitch. Dobby is a free elf bitch. What? <laughs> What's that? What's that? These are insane, Mason, a lot of these. Yeah, that's but I, that feels significantly more insane than, <laughs> than most of these reviews. He doesn't even leave. He's, He's saying, saying don't leave the don't Shire. Don't leave the Shire. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to say... Lord of the Rings won the first Lord of the Rings. That's correct, okay, Mason. Great. Fellowship of the Ring. Mm. It's called, the, they, they renamed it for the, for the Blue Rays. It's called Lord of the Rings won the first Lord of the Rings. Good, that makes it much easier. We're kicking off the Lord of the Rings. Finally. Based on the dialogue <laughs> from the movie. We're doing the Lord of the Rings now. Uh, this is from Jeffrey Robbery, who says, oh. The Tolkien estate and fans only hate this adaptation because this Bilbo gets laid at the end. Nice. Spoiler. What's that? Does that happen in any of them? Wow. Apparently he gets laid at the end, Mason. I don't recall anybody getting laid at any point. Now we've been either watching either in the cinema or in the movie. <laughs> now we've also we've been watching the Hobbit trilogy yes, for Caravan of Garbage. But at this at time of recording, I have not watched the third one. Yeah. So maybe he gets laid at the end of that. <laughs> maybe everybody gets laid and Rodney Dangerfield shows up. He's like, hey. <laughs> Unless we're also talking the the, the Bakshi version of Lord of the Rings. Oh, sure, yeah. The animated version from back in the day. Yeah. But I'm going to say The Hobbit 3, The Hobbit Goes Hawaiian. Uh, this is actually The Hobbit from 1967, which is a 12-minute animated short which was created so that the, that estate would retain the rights. Terrific. To The Hobbit. Is so that it, the Bakshi version, the weird No, one? It's, it's a different before one. That. Don't, even, don't even know this it's one. It's barely animated. It's on YouTube. Don't watch it. You'll kill yourself. Full penetration. <laughs> anyway, that's technically a movie, I guess, isn't it? A decision had to have been made there. Hey, we've just got to make this to retain yep. the copyright. Should we put sex in it? Yeah, we should put sex in it. <laughs> this is for nobody, but we're yeah, putting sex yeah, in it's it. Yeah, it's a real executive decision there when i got to respect it. That's right. Uh, this is from May Gahan, who says, I hate this movie with a burning passion. These kids are so dumb and annoying and they do nothing. They're so useless. I wish they died in World War II. <laughs> okay, terrific. Mm. All right. I was going to say a Harry Potter movie, yeah. but those kids wouldn't have been alive in World War II. No, no, no. So this is a World War II-based kids fantasy movie. Correct. Man. You're going to know this. You're going to hear it and you're going to be like, I knew that. Wild. Big movies, too, for a time. Well, they kind of petered out. Oh. Mm. He's thinking, is it the Spiderwick Chronicles? I was never thinking that. I would never think that. He's thinking, is it Bridge to Terabithia? And, oh, is it a line with Witch in a Wardrobe type one? Maybe it is, Mason. Okay. Uh, I don't know the names of any of them. <laughs> the I mean, first one. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> The Chronicles of Narnia. I found the, the loophole. Just say the first one. The Chronicles of Narnia, the line, the witch in the wardrobe. Nice. What about this one? From Colin the Dude. Oh, hello. <laughs> Two and a half stars, so doesn't completely hate this. Mm -hmm. uh, the missing link between Shrek and The Matrix. The Shrek tricks. There was some The Matrix in Shrek, though. Shrek lesque, <laughs> the, the Shrek burlesque <laughs> experience. <laughs> Wonderful. Shrek and The Matrix. Yeah. My goodness, and it's a fantasy movie? It certainly is, Mason. So it's Shrek. 
But it's in a computer? <laughs> The Shrek Is video it that game? footage of Spider-Man <laughs> Shrek? Have oh, you seen maybe. that on Twitter? Is it a Shrek Endless Runner? Oh, I just want to clarify. It is a movie. It's a movie. All okay. of these are movies. Movies. I love movies. Unless that's I've put thing. a trick in here that's not a movie. Okay, let me know when you've put the trick in. I will tell you. Okay. No, I'm going with shrek Lesk because okay. I don't have an answer. Uh, it's actually Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Well, yeah. Because it's a fantasy. It's got fantasy in the title. So huh. I wanted... That, that was, was a e- trick and you claimed you would tell me before the trick. <laughs> no, that was an easy one because it had fantasy in the title. Oh, no, that is actually a good point. Wow. I would have said the, the missing link between Shrek and Ben Affleck because the, there's a character in that movie oh, yeah. that just looks like Ben Affleck. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Because it was CGI animated. They didn't have to pay for the likeness rights to Ben Affleck, Perfect. probably. Perfect. Mm. Absolutely delightful. This is from Carl Hudson who says, a terrible fantasy comedy with awful action sequences, the ugliest dragon ever and cringeworthy comedy. It reminded me of Shrek, <laughs> again, <laughs> which isn't the kind of film your medieval fantasy should remind me of. Whoa. So it's got okay, a so medieval fantasy. Ugly as shit dragon. Okay. Dragonheart. Yes. Nice. But which one? It's the first one. Yeah, sure. Dragonheart, one Dragonheart. That's Just right. one dragon. The one where we meet Dragonheart. <laughs> Unless you're Dragonheart, in which it's the one where you meet the other guy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What about this one? Uh, it's from Mike Jin. Biggest own on an actor I've ever heard uh, was when Sam Worthington had a flat little monologue and my girlfriend asked me, is this guy a professional re- <laughs> is this guy a professional wrestler or something? Whoa, brutal. <laughs> is this Avatar? No. It's not Avatar. Okay. I can understand why you'd think that would be a big fantasy world, Mason. Mm, but, it's uh, certainly fantastical, isn't mm-hmm, it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Remember, he, was, he, did, he did a run of action movies for a time. He was a Terminator. He was a Terminator man, wasn't he? He was on a ledge at one point. He was a man on a ledge. Yep, he'd mm. come back and do an Australian World War II drama or whatever every I now and then. I don't recall him doing any fantasy movies, though. I'll give you a clue. He did two in this franchise. Oh, Bridge to Terabithia? No, Mason. This is Clash of the Titans. Oh, my goodness. Yes. It's Greek mythology fantasy. Mm. If it is Greek, who cares? Yeah, I consider that history, actually. I'm a bit <laughs> I'm a bit of history buff, actually. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, name your best history then that you Clash know. of the Titans 1 and 2. <laughs> you see those movies? Yeah, yeah. You it's, haven't seen It was a great them. time in history. I reckon <laughs> I've seen half of one of one on the telly. Channel 9, probably, or 10. Fine, fine, fine. Mm-hmm. This is from Cohen Edenfield who says, I saw this 20 years ago and three quarters of the way through, the projector slipped a bit and a good 10% of the film was out of frame and nobody watching cared enough to get it fixed. Sorry this came out sounding like a math problem. <laughs> so it's 20 years old. Okay, but and no other details. <laughs> Terrific. But it's a fantasy movie. But terrible fantasy where a room full of people watching it mm-hmm. would have been like, I don't care that this is broken. You've seen this as well. I know for a fact. 2002. This was written in 2020. Doesn't help me at all. Well, it means it was in the year 2000. Okay, right. Okay, well. Do you have any... Can you give me any other clues here? Sure. Uh, It does have a dragon in it. Ooh. It's a beloved property. Dungeons and Dragons. One first Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, not any of the other ones. That would be unfair if I used any of the other ones. (laughs) very true, yeah. (laughs) How about this? Okay. From Layla. Who says, Spanish made, it's so annoying. I could barely finish and I don't want to watch it again. Half a star because the graphics and animation of creatures were good. My goodness. I don't think this person's first language is English or Spanish. <laughs> no. There's another thing going on here. Yeah, right. Uh, what are we talking about here? A Spanish language? Yeah. I would have watched it with subs, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm a big... I'm a, I'm a, I'm or maybe not even. I'm you a just movie wanna, lover. You want to be immersed in the language oh, if you turn true, the subs yeah. off. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spanglish. The movie uh, Spanglish. That was Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's a nice, that's a good one, isn't it? It is a good one, probably. I haven't seen it. Don't at me. Mason. Go on. This is from Mike Drew Flynn, who says, Few things are truly unbearable the way George Lucas's mind manifests itself without a like mind to keep his shit organised. Apparently, Steven Spielberg is the only person who can pull this off because Ron Howard cannot, for the life of him, handle the ILM vanity project Lucas's barely scripted idea demands. More horrible than I ever thought should be considered a larger scale failure. Whoa. So, yeah, it's a big George Lucas property. Ron Howard directed. Fantasy epic. Big time failure, this guy reckons. Star Wars. It's not Star no, Wars, No, I didn't Mason. think it was Star Wars. He's I mean, Ron Howard did he direct He must have Star done Wars. something else. He did. He must have done something else. It's also getting a Disney Plus sequel series, if that helps. Nope. It's got a lot of morphing, like an animal changed into a different <laughs> thing. Does that help? <laughs> nope. George Lucas. He, yeah, he was involved. Morphing? Yeah. Food courts in Adelaide. 
<laughs> That's it's unrelated. Got li- he's got a little Diet Coke. <laughs> Good on him, you know? His yeah. wife's at a conference or something. Yeah, at a conference. Great, I love George Lucas. How about this? Go on. It was the 80s. Yes. It was a big time actor from Top Gun was in this as well. Ooh, might be Val Kilmer. Yeah. He seems like he'd be in a fantasy movie. I can even imagine like the VHS cover with his face on it. Yeah, you're so close. Yeah. You're right there. I bet I haven't seen it. It's got Warwick Davis. Oh, Willow. It's Willow, yeah. Okay, right. You shouldn't have given that clue. Shouldn't have given it away, no. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You've lost your touch, Shane. I have, haven't I? <laughs> well, we haven't done one of these in a while, yeah. so, you know. I'll also, this is this is a wider umbrella, I feel, than, it's like, insane, name yeah. a Marvel movie. <laughs> Like, I've got a 1 in 20 chance of getting it right if it's a Marvel movie. Uh, this but this, I'm mostly fighting the urge to be like, is it Michael Clayton? <laughs> <laughs> there was some fantastical legal manoeuvring in that movie, if I recall. There you got to. Mm. It's from Addison M, who says, Westerly's confidence, so hot, the giant, so goofy looking. Edit. Just found out that Andre the Giant is dead. I did not mean it when I said he looked goofy. He was probably very sweet and kind. Rip King. Wow. Well, it's the Princess Bride. It's not even the goofiest guy in that movie. <laughs> well, that is certainly true. This is from Jordan, who says, A shockingly accurate reproduction of my teenage D&D campaigns, which is just about the worst thing I could say about a movie. Ouch. Imagine a silly farce, Mason. I won't. I refuse. Well, you have to. Oh, man. It's gotten silly all of a sudden. I'll give you a clue. Go on. It's a fantasy movie. Oh, yeah. And go on. it's a comedy movie. Whoa. Yeah. Is it Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Great guess. No, it's the movie Your Highness. Remember that one? Vaguely, Danny yeah. McBride, James Franco. Great. Natalie Portman. Whoa. A big snake that's got like five heads and the guy's controlling it using a pot of goo. Have you seen this movie? I've not seen it. I, re- <laughs> I vaguely remember it, but if it was also a fake poster photoshopped for the internet, <laughs> if it was also a fake movie in a Danny McBride, James Franco movie, yeah. like they're making that movie, yeah. I believe that it was also that fake movie. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What about this one? Go on. From J. Matthew Lucas. Kids should wear this movie to school as a bulletproof vest because it's so fucking impenetrable. Ouch. <laughs> uh, I'll give you another one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you two here because I liked both of these. Name of the film... Feels like a prequel to a series of movies that don't exist. Ouch. So impenetrable law mm-hmm. and a prequel to something that... Man. But the question you have to ask is like, is it impenetrable just because this guy's a dummy? Or is it I wouldn't genuinely s- impenetrable? You've seen this. Ooh. And I think, yeah, it's it's a lot of lore put into like two hours of like Ooh. mythic quests and races and battles and God, it's famous so- Goblins or whatever. Sounds good. Is it Warcraft? It is Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. I thought it might be Warcraft. <laughs> Are there any goblins in Warcraft? Maybe. That doesn't matter. I it's don't from... think that move was that impenetrable. No. What about this one? This is from An- Anua, who says, one of the worst film, if I can call it that, experiences of my life. Don't want to revisit this in my mind ever again. Well, that's uh, <laughs> not a lot to go on there. <laughs> but, sure. uh, boy, what if I could pull this out of the air? Incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. It's a bad film-going experience, not yep. just a bad film. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, but on the way into the cinema, this person stepped on a nail. Oh, wow. And it hurts a lot, and they're spending the entire time. They should go to a doctor. Well, that's their thinking about it, but they've paid for the ticket, and they're like, I don't... Don't you think they're going to pay for that long term in terms of medical bills? Well, that's exactly what they're thinking, and they're like, this is a bad film-going experience, (laughs) quite frankly, and I can't focus on the movie, and maybe I've got tetanus. (laughs) Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, Uh, It's actually uh, Kingsglaive... Final Fantasy XV from 2016, the animated feature. Huh. It's got Lena Heady and Aaron Paul. What, just just <laughs> side of screen? Just <laughs> no, no. In little, in little They're s- doing chairs. voices. Oh, okay. One of them's probably the Ben Affleck character. Yeah, probably. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know there's been a bunch of those spin-offs and animated movies? I did not know that, no. Well, now you know. Mm-hmm. What about this one? Two left. I don't hate this film. I just hate the people who watch it. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So this Half is- a star. This might be a movie with a very annoying fan base. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Okay. I mean, that's everything, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Yeah. that's right. The worst thing you can do is be a fan of something. That's why we don't really like anything. I mean, for me, it's Ghostbusters fans, because the time I said Ghostbusters 2 is as good as Ghostbusters 2016 uh-huh. in terms of comedy, <laughs> because <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 simply relies on the fact that the original cast are back. But when you look at that movie objectively, <laughs> it's very fucking unfunny. Mm. Why am I doing this, Mason? I don't know. Is the answer Ghostbusters <laughs> no, or something not. to do with Ghostbusters? <laughs> not Ghostbusters huh. at all. Odd you would bring it up then. All right. Okay, fan base. Annoying fan bases. God, now I've got now I've got just got to narrow it down. 
from every movie. <laughs> Percy Jackson, the first Percy Jackson in a universe where they never made a second Percy Jackson. They did make a second Percy Jackson, Mason. Mm-hmm, yeah. uh, but no, this is the movie Joker. Ah, you got me. No, well, I didn't get you so much as... That's some people's fantasy to be like, I don't like the way society is structured. Mm. I'm going to shoot Robert De Niro. Mm. You know? In in a way, any kind of any kind of movie that doesn't, you know, hew hundred percent accurately close to the real world is inherently a fantasy. That's so right, I suppose, exactly. I suppose you are not incorrect there. <laughs> But you have filled me with a boiling rage and I'm going to become the Joker, just to be clear. Mason, there's always a Joker. You know that in these. There's always a the Joker. It's been a while between You've forgotten. Drinks. That's true. All right, last one. This is from Wood. Okay. <laughs> it says, I remember back in 2012, there's a hint, mm-hmm. Joe Rogan said on his podcast that, Ooh, this, another hint. that this was his favourite movie of the year. That is even funnier to me now that I've seen it. 2012, Joe Rogan loved it. There's two of these. Okay. I want you to think also, this is off the back of Twilight and Marvel. Taking two actors from those things and you mush them together. Wow. Yeah. You know when they're like big names. Oh. Let's launch a separate franchise. I bet it's a a stupid, like it's one of those, it's like a Hansel and Gretel kind (laughs) of situation. Yeah, you're on the right track. Is it it the one with, it's got Jeremy Renner in it? Is that the one? You're talking of Hansel and, and Gretel, Gretel Witch Hunters. Hunters no, yeah. are you talking about that uh, Red Riding Hood one with Amanda Seyfried? Is that the one you're That's talking about? That's not the about? one I'm talking about, not no. The, not, not that mm. one. It's not Dracula Untold, I don't Mason. think it's Dracula Untold. No, no, no. But I think I, I'm in that ballpark, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Is it Mirror Mirror, Mason? I don't think it's Mirror Mirror. <laughs> is, is it Kristen Stewart in it? Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Maybe there's another Chris in it. The Woodsman? Something, it's something in the woodsman. <laughs> Snow White and the Snow, Huntsman. Uh, there you go. Close, I'll give you that one. Close enough. Tell him up, Matt. What did he get? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I don't know who's that. I think it's Matt. Yeah, he nice. might have COVID. Uh, ah. Wow, Mason, this has been incredible. You've done it yet again somehow. I think given that the odds were forever not in my favour here <laughs> and were astoundingly stacked against me, I think I did all right. <laughs> I think so too. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, these, these are great, you know? <laughs> these are great. <laughs> And people love them. <laughs> Do you have any I stuff? pretend to boil over with rage, James, but to be clear, I am boiling over with rage, but not as much as I pretend to. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I yeah. You. You're doing it for comedic effect, much like the fantasy epic Your Highness. Mm. Yeah. If you do have any suggestions for what you'd like us to do next, we've done Marvel movies, box office bombs, DC movies, box office hits. Ooh. What do you want to see? We'll do it. Marvel you know movies. I mean? We'll do another Star Wars one or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I, I'll even do Ghostbusters. I'll do the four Ghostbusters movies. <laughs> That's terrific. How about that? Yeah, we can do it. We can just round robin them and keep going <laughs> over and over again. Also, uh, if you are interested, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. It comes out every Monday. And if you'd like to support any of what we do, you can head over to BigSandwich.co, which is like our private Patreon. That's the end of the plugs. Let's get out of here, Mason. Let's get the heck out of here. This is an absolutely stunning success. That's right. Thanks, everybody. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.